Well, as I said, I work at the university in the College of Engineering. I teach subjects such as electronic and control theory. Uh, but also, uh, I have a company with my colleague, Milton, uh, that we are trying to uh, foster renewable energies and also uh, energy efficiency uh, in the city of Manta. So our job, I think, is uh, related to climate change because what we do is related to the goal number seven of the Sustainable Development Goal, which is um, affordable and um, affordable and um, sustainable energy access. <coughs> so, since electricity or, or the way in which we produce electricity hasn't changed that much since this was invented, uh, this produced approximately more than 30% of uh, contamination. So it's one of the biggest areas in our in our society that uh, that helps uh, that climate change uh, is producing that that damage to our, to our world. Well, like Marco said, uh, we have two jobs. We are professors, and we have uh, a company that sell uh, renewable equipment for most of the, our city month. Uh, I think we, we are related in, in both, uh, both jobs. The first one, we teach in, in, the, in electrical engineering major. Uh, and the electricity, the electricity is one of the most resources that people need. But some some of the of some of the, this energy are produced uh, for fusing fields, like fusing fields, mm -hmm. and we try to we try to uh, share knowledge to our students about that's not the best option for the future uh, in the energy in the energy aspect, and we try to 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 teach about uh, new, new new technologies and about any renewable energies like uh, solar photovoltaic or, uh, or wind for example in the other um, the other aspect is about uh, our company we try to change mind people uh, because most of the people in our country thinks that uh, renewable energy are expensive nowadays if you have any discussion about climate change Renewable energy always tops the list of things to make our world better. So our job is related to climate change because we are going to produce uh, sustainable energy, um, renewable energy, and we are going to avoid to burn fossil fuels. So we are going to avoid to release greenhouse gases to the, to the atmosphere. Uh, and we are going to meet somehow the goal number seven of the Sustainable Development Goal. Admittedly, in my personal work, I don't deal with a lot of the global organizing that goes around or goes on involving climate change. But certainly we can see that as people communicate across borders and across ethnic groups, there have increasingly been global organizations that have worked to pressure leaders uh, at the highest levels of governance. So we, we might know, for example, or be reminded of an activist like Greta Thunberg, for example, from Sweden, but who has testified and had an influence around the world with many different countries. Um, this is the wonderful thing about communication and climate change because it is a problem that transcends any kind of national boundaries. It is something that we have to work together on. And activists at the grassroots level are realizing that and coming together across those boundaries. Um, and that shows us that we have other common interests and uh, common um, needs, even above and beyond uh, a more resilient response to climate change.